Okay, we have to another integral from the MIT integration be 2024 20, regular season 14. We have the integral of e to the ex plus 3x dx. Okay, now to get started with this, whenever I see addition in the exponent like this, my thinking is to break this up and write it as multiplication. So I can rewrite this. I can write this thing as e to the ex times e to the 3x. And then actually let me put it back in the integral, but this whole thing, it's making me think u substitution. There's a few different ways we can do this. Now, clearly we could do a u substitution for e to the x, because we've got e to the x right here. It's going to simplify this complicated thing. But then here, if I break this up, if I write this as like e2x times e to the x, well, then we're going to have our derivative right here. So I think doing the u substitution this way gives us like a quick and straightforward way to our solution. But as you might know, oftentimes I like to overcomplicate. So instead, let's try our u substitution for this whole thing. See if that's going to help us out. Now, let's go ahead and we'll take a derivative. So the derivative of this, when we have base e, we're just going to get back the same thing. We're going to have e to the ex, but then we need the chain rule. Derivative of this is going to give me an ex dx. So now to set this up, let's just reorder things. First, I want to get this whole, I want to get this du at the end. So I'm going to write this as, we'll take this, our e, e to the x. We'll use this one, e to the x dx. And now we have du right there. Now we just have to remember this e2x. I'm actually going to rewrite this because we have things in terms of e to the x. So I'll write this instead of e2x, I'll just write this as e to the x squared. So now we're all set up here, but we don't actually have a value yet. We don't actually have a value yet for e to the x, but I can get that just by taking this u and manipulating it. What I'll do here is take a natural log on both sides. So we'll have natural log of u, and then when we take natural log of e to the ex, this just becomes e to the x here. And just to make it clear what we have for this, for e x squared, we just have to square this. And so we have a value for it, which is just going to be ln u all squared. So going ahead with it, what we have, let's just rewrite everything. This is going to become ln u all squared, and this is just du. And for this integral here, we're just going to need to do integration by parts on this. I'm going to use the di method or tabular integration. Okay, we have our di table all set over here. What I want to do is let's differentiate natural log of u all squared here. And then what I'll do here, let's just create a one out front. Multiplying by one, we can integrate one. So we go ahead and integrate that. We're just going to get a u here. Then differentiating here, first we're going to use power rule. We get 2 ln u, and then with the chain rule, derivative of ln u is going to give me just 1 over u. Then we'll have part of our solution right here on the diagonal. So this is going to become u ln u all squared. Here we're going to have minus 2 out front. This integral is going to become natural log of u over u times u du. But then the u's here are going to cancel, and now we're just integrating natural log of u. So now we just need to integrate this thing and then we can finish it off. Okay, now from here, just integrating natural log of u, what I'm going to do is let's just use a formula on that. This is going to become u ln u minus u. And then from here, what I can do is let's just factor, we have a u in common everywhere, so let's factor a u out front. And this is going to become ln u squared minus 2 ln u. Distributing in minus here, this is just going to give me a plus 2. And now we just need to back substitute to finish it off, but we have our value for u right here, and we have our value for natural log of u right here. So just plugging in up front, this is going to become e to the e to the x. This is going to become e x all squared. I'll write it as e 2x minus 2 e to the x plus 2, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Interesting integral from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.